All right, in my last video where I did the Proxmox install on the Raspberry Pi 5, I did mention that I felt that the Raspberry Pi 5 was actually faster than the Zima Blade. So we're gonna put it to the test. Here I have the two Proxmox side by side and I am doing emulation tests. So that's the only test I'm gonna be running. And also it's gonna be a seven zip benchmark. And on the left side, we have the Raspberry Pi and on the right side, we have the Zima Blade. Now on the left side, you could tell that we have a four CPUs right over here. It's running off a Broadcom and clocked at 2.5 gigahertz with eight gigs of RAM. And on the right side, we have the Intel Celeron J3455 clocked at 1.5 gigahertz and it's got eight gigs of RAM as well. Now I am using both VM and container just to run the test and see which one is better. Now we are gonna start off with running Ubuntu and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised that the Raspberry Pi is actually faster than Zima Blade. Now, given that it is an Intel CPU, you do have extra instructions like AVX, AES, and a bunch of other stuff that the ARM CPU does not have. So it might have an advantage over there, but we are doing a full emulation test. So this is a VM running Ubuntu 22.04 on both sides. And what I'm just gonna do is run a seven zip. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do time seven Z and then B for benchmark. And then I'm gonna run the same thing, oops, sorry, 7ZZ. And I'm gonna run the same thing on this side as well. So it's gonna be time 7ZZB. And we're just gonna let this run and see what the results would be. And honestly, like I said, right off the gate, you could see that the Ubuntu is much faster already. And look, the initial numbers are coming in and this is at 3,899 while the first one is 6,931. Time of completion for the Raspberry Pi was about 27 seconds, and we are doing an average of 8,125 on compression and 9,552 on decompression, which is really good. Given that it does have a higher clock, a 2.5 gigahertz versus 1.5, uh, you could see it's almost double in speed uh, as far as the seven zip benchmark. And here we go, we are finally done. So 27 seconds compared to 57 seconds right over here. And you can see it's 3,735 on the compression and 3,974 on the decompression. So honestly, I thought the numbers for the Zima Blade would be a lot better, but unfortunately it is not, and it's not looking so good. Now we're gonna do the same exact test, but instead of using a full VM, we are gonna run it on the container and let's see if it could win on this side. So we're gonna jump on the container, console, I'm gonna start this up. And then I'm gonna go on to Raspberry Pi and do the same thing over here and start this one up and still have one VM running in the background even though it's not doing anything, so it shouldn't really affect it. Now, they both are running two cores at four gigs of RAM for the VM, but as far as the container goes, it's two cores with half a gig of RAM. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a 7ZZ. Actually, I'm gonna do time 7ZZ and benchmark. Same goes for here, time 7ZZ B for benchmark. You could actually see the CPU on this side where it says J3455 at 1.5. And over here, it actually doesn't have the mention of the CPU itself. So running this test on a container is pretty obvious. You could tell that this one is slightly slower by hair. This is only 32 seconds. The average is 7.5, so it's slightly lower than running in a VM, which is totally opposite on the Zima Blade where you could see this is actually 4,000 instead of 3,900, 4,200 on the compression and decompression is 4,200 as well. And the time instead of 57 is actually 52. So slight improvements running on the container versus running on the VM, but the Raspberry Pi is definitely a clear winner. And you can see the RAM usage is exactly the same, 444 megabytes. And the comparisons between each one has a higher kernel. It's 6.6 versus the 6.5 on this one. But otherwise I was right to suggest that the Raspberry Pi is actually faster than the Zima Blade itself. Now. The Zima Blade honestly still has more features as far as hardware goes. You can use the PCI slot, you can add SATA to it. So ultimately you can do more stuff with the Zima Blade itself. But as far as performance goes, the Raspberry Pi is double the speed of the Zima Blade. Anyway, that is it for this video. It's a short one. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And I just wanna say thanks for watching.